When Joni Meyer Crothers was a single mom, she had nights where she had to go hungry just so she could feed her kids. Oftentimes, she went to the grocery store knowing that she had to choose between food or hygiene products. Well, since then, Joni has learned how to stretch a dollar as far as it can go, and now she's using her skills to make sure others won't struggle as she wants to. Couponing expert Joni Meyer Crothers says you should never pay full price for anything again. Joni is one of the stars of the Learning Channel show Extreme Couponing. She started using coupons to make ends meet after her husband lost his job five years ago. Since then, she's saved thousands of dollars. But Joni doesn't keep all the savings for her and her family. She practices the concept of helping others. Today, Joni's garage actually serves as a food pantry to feed the hungry. In her book, Extreme Couponing, Joni teaches you how to save money and help others at the same time. Well, Joni Meyer Crothers is here with us now. Joni, welcome to the 700 Club. <laughs> it's great to have you with us. There are lots of people who attempt to coupon. You actually started doing this out of necessity. Tell us about that time in your life. I cry all the time. I'm sorry. Um, we, we went through a really hard time when I couldn't feed my kids, and so we had to make tough choices. So once I learned how to coupon, I thought, how'd you learn how to do that? I had a friend that showed me two things that were free, and I'm like, I'm an overachiever. <laughs> like, there's two? I I'm figuring this out. <laughs> and for me, it became a ministry because it's like, yeah. Yeah. I can help feed hundreds of thousands of people. Yeah, God really used this to birth something in your heart. Yes. Once, once you followed <laughs> the open doors he gave you, you began to do this not just for yourself, but you do help other people with and, this. And that is the big part of it for me is it's about, you know, I think, you know, people say it's coupons and I'm like, no, it's God. Yes. It is, he's got a sense of humor that he's yes. using coupons. But, it, you know, it, it opens up so many doors for people. So many people want to help people and don't know how to. Yes. But through the use of coupons, the power of coupons, we can feed the hungry. We can help so yeah. many. You know, you are doing an amazing job with that. And I want to talk with you about how you do that. But one of the other things that was so interesting to me is usually when somebody has a great idea or something they want to promote, they wind up going to a television program asking them, would you consider me? But in your case, Extreme Couponing, TLC's program, actually came to you. How did that work? <laughs> it was weird. Um, we had the open pantry in our garage that we had been pe feeding people from our church in the neighborhood. And some families from our church nominated us to be on the show. And so they called us and said, will you be on the show? And you know, I said we had a couple stipulations. The one is my faith, obviously. And then the second one, we yeah. wanted to donate 100%. And they were like, "Wow, that's fine. Wow. <laughs> well, talk a little bit about how you, you've brought some things with you here. And this, you have a system. Yes. And you know, I mean, really in life, there's just kind of a common idea we need to embrace. If you want to do something well, you have to do it intentionally. And you have done that. Tell us about what you have here and how people can do this effectively. Organization is the biggest thing with couponing. If you're not organized, you're kind of all Girl, scattered. I, I have about a hundred of these in the, <laughs> in the bottom of my purse right now. <laughs> yeah. And see, now you're going to be organized. <laughs> um, the first thing that I tell everybody is start out with the binder and there's two different sizes. There's a smaller one and the larger one. Um, if you think you're going to coupon, I always say get a larger one and just spend the money to start out with the bigger one. Okay. I like the ones that have the two sides so you can use your food and hygienic, or I mean your food and then your hygienic and your other stuff in this side. Uh -huh. But the big thing to start out with is you want to get labels. I always say spend the extra money for the binder. So these are actually plastic um, labels uh -huh. and so they're not going to tear. The paper ones are going to tear as you're flipping through them and then it has the labels and on the labels you'll just um, categorize the stuff like refrigerator, freezer, breakfast foods. Um, so as you're going through the store it's easy to flip through this and find out what you have. And you can go into any store and if people want to print labels off actually on my blog freetastegood.com they can print them right off from my blog. Wow. I already have them made up for them so awesome. they can print them off. She's done the work. <laughs> the next thing is what to put the coupons in mm -hmm. and it's actually they're um the baseball card inserts. Oh my goodness. So that's a great idea. The coupons fit right inside of them. And for the ones, the bigger ones, the printable ones that you print off, you're actually gonna want the currency. 
So they're the bigger oh, ones. okay. So you don't have to fold them up. So I but they all fit in here. Exactly. Wonderful. Yep. Yep. Goodness. And then the other great thing is the full sheet ones. And for the full sheet ones, you can put the coupon policies in them because a lot of the stores, the clerks don't know the policies uh -huh. all the time. So that way you have the policy and can show it to them. Okay. So you can put these. The other thing, some people don't like to clip all of their coupons. So this is what the inserts are going to look like. You can actually put the date. It tells you what, like the smart source. Uh -huh. So I put 210SS for smart source. And you can actually put this. The whole thing in there. Exactly. Wow. Yep. Wow. And then you can just type up a thing that tells you what coupons are yeah, inside. The date is a big issue for me. That's why I have 120 of them <laughs> in the bottom of my purse because I'm well intentioned, but I never remember to do it. Right. So you're putting this in the full size sleeves. How, you know, one of the common things that we hear people say is when I coupon, I buy things I don't really need because they're on sale. How do you keep from doing that? I tell everybody, stick to what you would normally buy. Don't buy anything that you wouldn't normally buy. Even if you have a coupon, you're going to save money. But if you buy it, you're really not saving yeah. money. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is if there's items that are money makers that you're actually going to get paid for and you don't personally need it yourself, donate it. It's a great time to donate. Yeah. Um, I challenge everybody the five item challenge. Donate five items a week um, and give back. And some of the items you're going to make money on. So you're going to walk out yeah. of the store with money that you can yeah. buy your meat and your produce with. Well, and a lot of churches now have kitchens where people can come and, and get food. So you're really helping to keep that supplied and stocked as well. What's the biggest mistake people make in trying to do this? I think the biggest thing is people want to start out big right away and yeah. think that they can save a ton of money. And I tell everybody when I teach classes, if you save $5 a week over 52 weeks, that's $260. Yeah. So don't ever think your little savings is, mm -hmm. you know, I, it was only $5. I don't want to do it. Any savings is just yeah. that, a savings. And it's important to save money. We need to be good stewards with our money. Well, especially now. I think the economy, the way that it is, and, and I don't know about at your houses, but at my house, uh, our house is full and grocery expenses <laughs> are just horrific, especially as kids get older, they consume so much food. I, I know this has really become a passion for you, and now you're helping other people to do it. And, you know, often I think as I hear your story of how God takes what was a negative situation in your life and then not only answers your prayer, but turns around and uses it to bless other people. And I do. He think, I think he used the mess in my life to make mm -hmm. my message. This is yeah. God's story. Yes, it's my story, but it's God's story. And I can encourage other people and say, you may feel hopeless right now. I was 20 years ago, yeah. but guess what? Through mm -hmm. Christ, we have hope. And through coupons, yes. <laughs> we can feed yeah. people. And if we all join together and do a little bit, it's fun, it's exciting, and we really can impact our world. All the things that you've shown us that you use are available at, at a place like Office Max, Home Depot, probably Kmart, any of those places. places. That, that it, any place that sells, this almost looks like any place that sells <laughs> school supplies. Right, have. And, and I also sell, because some people don't want to do the binders, and I'm like, come to my blog, I'll make one up for you. You can purchase one right off of my wow. blog at Free Taste this Good. This lady to know. <laughs> she's going to do it for you. If you'd like more great couponing tips, I want you to know she's put it all here. It's Joni's book. It's called Extreme Couponing. Learn how to be a savvy shopper and save money, and you're going to want to get a hold of this. Don't forget, Extreme Couponing airs Thursday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern on Discovery Fit and Health channel and you have an opportunity to see her go to it firsthand and she'll <laughs> inspire you as she does that thank you so much it's thank great you. to have you here what a great great idea way to help others and help yourself at the same time